Hello guys, it's Metalogical, and today I'm going to be overviewing a uh, easier monostable circuit for observer pulses. So, if we have a button, when you send out a pulse with the button, I'll, sh I'll just show it on an observer, um, because observers detect when the button is not pressed and when it is pressed, so when it goes back to its original state, it will send out another pulse. I'll show you that. As you can see, it gets powered on twice. This can be actually quite an issue for some devices, because um, Sometimes they only need one pulse, and if it sends out another, it can power it back off, or things like that. They can really just mess up your entire contraption. So, to fix this, people came up with uh, this contraption, which is called a monostable circuit. Um, I can't remember where this is originally from, but there's a really lot of people who just know about this, so I'm just going to call it just the basic monostable circuit. As you can see, the piston, it's a sticky piston, it should pull back in its block on the second pulse, right? No, since it's a one tick pulse, it will just spit out its block. So that's just an overview of the circuit. If I add a lamp, I believe. See, I just gets powered on once, even though there's the button. So, if we go over here, back to this, we can see that the observer detects this um, trapdoor. And I'm just using that as... Um, sync of last video because I showed how to use a scaffold tower so if you want to implement this into my last video then yeah that's why I use the trapdoor but it does work with a button as well see it detects both states so to fix that we can come over on this side of the wall and we can see this little contraption this is going to lock out this repeater so there's a concept of repeater locking that if uh, a repeater is powered going a different direction as you can see there's these little arrows on the repeaters it will actually switch this repeater to going this direction, meaning any pulses coming through here will not be powering whatever's on the other side. So let's demonstrate that. If I break this, we can see it's just the same circuit. It, the same problem happens. But if we take a redstone output from this button and wait a bit until the second pulse is about to come through, because stone buttons, uh, the trapdoor has a delay before it sends the other pulse, right? So we can use a four tick repeater to wait for that, and then right as the other pulse is about to come through, we lock out this repeater. There's a little cool animation for that I'll show you. As you probably saw, there was a gray bar, and the repeater switched to going this way, which means that this pulse will not go to the lamp. So, now we don't have the issue of it turning on twice. And if you wanted to use this in, let's say, a, um, a clock or something that will start up a farm, you can add an observer on the side of the lamp, or you really use any observable block, like a... Uh, no blocker things like that, but I'll just use a lamp because I want it to be silent and then what happens is We just take a one tick output from there, which is pretty cool So I really hope this helped and I'll see you guys in the next video